Welcome to another edition of Billy's Figure Reviews. Today to review X-Men Marvel Legends Magneto from the Toys R Us build the figure set. I did find this at my local comic book shop, so yeah, that explains there's you no know, Toys R Us exclusive sticker on there. Anyways, is it, there's these two X Wolverine silhouettes on there, which is pretty nice. I mean, drawings on there, which is pretty nice. Anyways, it says Marvel's Jubilee, X-Men logo, X-Men Magneto on the back there. It says Magneto, decades of persecution forged the master of magnetism uh, into a zealot crusading for mutant supremacy, but since joining Scott Summers, team of mutant revolutionaries has his vision for mutant liberation evolved. Hmm? Pose requires hand support. I don't know what that means. Oh, this this floating thing requires hand support. Uh, not really. You have a flying bit, flying stand. Marvel Legends if in series. Marvel X Men again in the set. Strife, Magneto, Cyclops, Storm, Wolverine. Of course, Strife and Cyclops reviews are coming. Storm and Jubilee ones are at a TB to be announced type of thing. Of reviews. Anyways, uh, I'll crack him open and give him his proper review. So, uh, the well, uh, accessories are as follow: is uh, Drew Blay hand, arm, nicely sculpted. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna say let's wait till the review. Of course, there's no probably won't be a review. Anyways, this is what he comes with the instruction book. I don't know how to put it together, what figures what the figures come with. So I got the head and the arms. Still waiting for the body and legs from Storm, which I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Anyways, head sculpt on this guy is pretty decent. I do like the helmet on him. Nicely done. It sucks it won't be removable, but he does have a removable cape. Just easily plug it out of his back there and this is him yeah. I'm not actually going to look at that first oh my gosh no don't follow me man don't follow me okay we're going to cover up cover up with the cape so it's nicely sculpted I like the paint on there nice purple and these nicely sculpted balls or something in there this little sting on there so yeah, it's nicely sculpted of a figure, of a cape, I mean. So yeah. And this is Magneto, without the cape. Eh, he looks kinda skinny without it. I guess the cape does give him a kind of bulky look. But yeah, it's not bad. I, I, what I actually do like around this whole figure is this nice red painting. As is nice, dark and light red throughout the whole figure. It's pretty nice. The only thing I hate is this black marker on here. Of course, bakers can't be choosers because this is the only one I've actually found anywhere where I'm living. The only one I've found at all. But I do like the way the purple of this figure on the on that helmet just shines in this light. I don't know if you can see. It. The camera's picking that up, but that is amazing. Anyways. How does this... This is actually weird looking. This one arm looks really weird. Is that deformed, or... Is that how they actually made it? Well, anyways, this looks weird. So does the other arm. They both look weird. Belt does move on this figure. Again, it's nicely painted purple, like the whole figure is. Um, I think that's got that's pretty much it. This is back of the figure one more time. Okay, boots of the figure. Again, nice. Okay, the articulations follow. Head can go that far up, that far down, and he has a pivot. He, his arms can go that far out. Double jointed elbows. Way. Oh, upper club swivel, which is awesome. And he has a hand swivel. 
Uh, same thing here. Of course, he does not have any hand hinge. Yeah, he does have a waist swivel, but it's hidden by that belt. He has an ab crunch bat that goes th that far backward, forward, backwards, that far forwards. His legs can go that far out. <laughs> you know what? This guy looks weird. Looks like he's dancing. Anyways, Alfred thigh swivel, double joint knees. Wah! I am doing limbo now. Da da da. <laughs> Upper boots with all feet go up, down, and a beautiful angle pivot. Do 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 do. Yeah. Okay. We're now stopping the fooling around stuff. Yeah. You know we got to seriously tell you guys what, why you should get this figure. Why? He's Magneto, man. <laughs> Just kidding. If you do not have a Magneto figure from the Toy Biz era, and you are one lucky bugger that finds this at a Toys R Us or a comic book shop, buy him. If you don't like him, you can probably use him as really, really good trade bait. Him and Storm are probably the ones everyone is looking for still from this wave. I'm one of the few that got lucky and found this guy. So, if you're one of those few, don't like the character, pick him up for trade bait. Probably bet you will get lots of good damn deals on him. But anyways, uh, he is a pretty good figure. I'm not going to use him for trade bait. I, I do like the painting on him, and he, this is my only Magneto, and I don't think I wouldn't trade him even if he was my only one. I do like this Magneto figure a lot. And I kind of wish you do make an, do make another one where you could remove the helmet. That would be really dope. They did that. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. And